What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, creator of Outright Bar, and Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, alongside Katie Lobliner. So, we heard about this guy, Professor Nuts. This, <laughs> this, um, what, what's, a, what's a word for someone who completely lies about a product and what it does? Douchebag. He literally said that his protein, his peanut butter, had all protein. The protein wasn't erased. But by this magical, magical cyclodextrin molecule, which by the way has disappeared on its current ones, there was zero carbon, zero fat that were used by the body, which was just amazing. And I thought, you know what? You can't get any worse than this. But I actually think this is worse because his, his claim was so over the top that anybody with even a half of a brain cell, not a brain, but just like there could have been brain life, brain activity in that head at one point. Anybody could have bullshit metered this and said, maybe Professor Nuts should go choke on these nuts. And so that, have you heard much about Professor Nuts? I think uh, we pretty much put them down. But now this one hurts because it's kind of believable. They're not claiming they got rid of calories and fat. They're just claiming much less carbs and fat, much more protein and much less calories. And I didn't even... Never heard about this company. It's called G-Butter. But they're in a class action lawsuit for severely understating and overstating their label claims. And Katie can get into this because I didn't even, I didn't hear about this. She told me about this last night. So coincidentally, I was just scrolling through Facebook yesterday and came across a video from someone talking about this product. And I was like, I haven't heard of this. And obviously, we like to keep up with new products. We have a peanut butter. Right. It's a competitor. So I clicked on it and I was reading the label. So it's G-Butter. It claims high protein, low calorie spread. And it's a spread. And apparently, you can like microwave it and it gives it like a baked good type consistency, right? But again, it's being <coughs> advertised as low calorie, okay? Now, the main ingredients are peanuts, or cashews, I think, in all of them. Which you can't, like with Professor Nuts, mm -hmm. you can't make calories disappear from peanuts, and, or else I would. And I would. There's like 11 flavors or something like that, right? So let's give you an example of what the label says and then what classaction.orgs posted about what's actually in the product. So let's take, um, how about s'mores? S'mores on the we label. Like, we do s'mores. We're good at s'mores. S'mores on the label says it's 130 calories, 5 carbs, 7 fat, 12 grams of protein, and 1 sugar. Which is fantastic, okay. right? Oh, Crap, I picked one that they didn't test. <laughs> Reverse. So everybody go buy the s'mores. It's fine. They haven't tested it yet. No, I picked one flavor that's not listed. Okay, let's try. Let's see if it's on both. Okay, cookie dough. 157 calories, 5 carbs, 9 fat, 14 protein, 1 sugar. In reality. One second. One second. I'm assuming this for two tablespoons. So if the chief ingredient. Um, per two tablespoons of 40 gram serving. Okay, so. 40 so, grams. So if. So there would have to be fillers other than the nuts for this to be true. Yeah, I had the ingredients. There's um most all of them have erythritol in them, so that's how they're ke keeping the sugar count down because they're using um and stevia. Well, erythritol does them. have carbs, but it doesn't count towards the calories because of something to do with blood sugar impact. Okay, so I was reading cookie dough, so messed up my flow. So calories, they say 157. It has 222. Now, if you've ever read a jar of peanut butter, you know. It's not low calorie, people. <laughs> it's, it's about 15 grams of fat. And it's not low fat. Yeah. Um, carbs, they're saying five. It really has about 11. They're saying nine fat. It really has 17. Wow, that's double the fat. They're saying protein's 14, and it really has 4.36. And they're saying one gram of sugar when it has closer to, uh, well, 3.62. I'm not worried about the sugar. I'm worried about the overall right. carbs. Those kind of play together. Mm -hmm. Now, we've seen this in the protein bar industry with the combat bar being tested at 80 calories over, allegedly 80 calories over label claim. We've seen it with Lenny and Larry's Cookies who came back very, very, very often. I believe their settlement was $5 million. This is over double, though, and all of those This is worse mistaken. than and combat. And less than half of the protein. So... What I want to get, and um, this is all, this hasn't been decided. This is all allegations, okay? I will state for the record, if this is true, they are scumbags. However, they have not been proven guilty in the court of law. This is simply a class action lawsuit. 
What I want to do is explain why, if this is indeed what happened, it was malicious. Okay, first of all, peanut butter has calories, all right? When I launched my peanut butter, which doesn't sell very well because it's very it's expensive high-end peanut butter, right? Because Not everyone's buying the outright bar. Everybody's buying the bar. So we, we have a peanut butter. We like it. We made it. It has a good amount of protein in it, right? Now, the thing about peanut butter is when I came out with it, it was after, months after. I mean, it was after we did the video on Professor Nuts, right? Uh, and they're like, oh, well, he did this just to promote his peanut butter. Look, here's the deal. My peanut butter is peanut butter. It has protein. It has carbs. It has fat. And if you compare it to like a Skippy, it's similar other than the fact that it has the added protein and the flavor, mm -hmm. right? So when it comes to packaged goods, there's certain levels of, now that one they lied straight out because it's pretty easy to tell if you're using 90% peanut butter, you're gonna have more than five grams of fat. It's just science, right? Not even science, common sense. But what we do, like for example, we came out with this, our plant-based outright bar, right? This is the banana walnut. By the way, this uh, launches next week. So what we do is we actually send, if you notice these lab, these come, and this is from a place called Microback Labs. Every single flavor. Um, you didn't flavor. print the actual, the big printout, right? No. This is just, okay. I just so printed the these actual. these are given to us, right? This is the actual chocolate chip, vegan banana walnut. Those are this is labs given to us. From an independent lab. Not by a program on a computer, not by mathematics, not by guessing, but we send all of our bars off to Microback Labs. And they do all the measurements and we pay extra. So they put it in this little form and what that does, it guarantees it. So people might ask, well, why are the outright bars, like some of them have 15 grams of protein, some have 17. Well, because that's how it works. They're all 60 gram bars, but let's say for example, this banana walnut, walnuts have fat and protein, fat and protein. So inevitably that's going to be different. So the increased protein adds the increased calories and the 17 grams of protein. So what we have here, and this is where I want you guys to look like people are in kind of oblivious to snacks. Yeah, I think what people think is just because it's a printed product that's in a store or on a website for sale that some the companies have actually done this and they have it. Which is profound because these are like Muscle Farm is a, aren't they like an 80 or, they're a huge company, huge company. That means that what they're doing, here's exactly what they're doing. I've explained this before in the videos I did on Lenny and Larry's, videos I did on Combat Bar. And by the way, I'm not dissing those companies. I respect the Helen and Larry's, but when they went and they changed the label, they, they, they went, I mean, their cookie went. Well, and here's the isn't thing. The isn't the FDA law, you have a 10% 10 window nay, above it. They're like way beyond the 10%. They're doubling the, over doubling the protein content and cutting the other stuff in half. So what is the, so we'll, we'll go past the fitness ramifications, right? I want to go into why this is, dangerous and you guys might say i'm being hyperbole but i'm not the number one killer of people is obesity obesity so people get into fitness and try to improve their life and let's say you're fat all right you're over fat you're overweight you're obese and you want to lose weight so you really like peanut butter and mr professor nuts comes in and he says hey i have a carbon fat free peanut butter you eat that thing like like it's going out of style, man, right? Yeah. Or let's say even these guys, the yeah. G-Butter, they're like, hey, so you're going to eat double the peanut butter you would have ate. So you're going on and you're doing your plan. You're not getting results. You're not losing weight. What do you do? You give up. You give up because they're lying to you on that label. Look, here's the deal. People come to me, people are like, well, you know, the carbs in Outright Bar are a little high, but we're not claiming that. That's another thing that pisses me off. And I am a huge fan of Quest and One. I'm a huge fan of their companies. I don't like net carbs because I've had clients. I've coached thousands of people, right? I'm an online coach, marklobliner.com, and I've coached people in person. How I started my career was as a trainer. Dude, here's the thing. I've literally had people take Quest Bars out of their diet and replace it with another more measurable form of carbohydrate and they've lost weight with the same exact measured carbs because what they list, the net carb, blah, 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 blah. Dude, if you're looking at it, that's like, if you eat two of them, that's almost 35 grams of carbs in a day. So what I'm getting at is we're in a huge obesity epidemic. And not only that, it's all about like, let's say you're more serious, you're me. 
let's say it's 2021, I'm making my comeback to stage, and I every calorie count, trying to be the most nasty, shredded bodybuilder on stage, do the extreme, went over the mainstream, went over the general population. Let's look at the extreme. I want to get to this body fat. I'm allowing myself 1,500 calories a day, 50 grams of fat, um, 50 grams of carbs, the rest from protein, and I allot myself a bar. I'm not gonna say a name because I don't wanna get sued. Or a cookie, right? And that cookie is 10 more carbs than it says it is. And I eat two of those, that's 20 grams of carbs. Two times four is eight. That's 80 extra calories a day. When you're getting down to it, that's gonna make a huge difference. Let's say I do that every day. 560 calories a week. And if you're obese, if you're obese and you're just, and you're filling your calories with this, this, these, these lies, you're gonna have issues. And that's why I got so angry at Professor Nuss to the point where their athletes came at me with anti-Semitic remarks and death threats because I refuse to see people do that. And guess what? These tests, I would say we go out and we spend thousands and thousands of dollars. These are about 800 bucks, 800 bucks a piece. By the time you get all evaluations, we have to measure everything, have them do the full 100 gram analysis and break it down to this. This is under $1,000 per bar. And look at it this way. Our bars, it's an eight-figure company, dude. So we're, let's say we're a 10 plus million dollar company. Is $1,000 just for that? Just to be able to say that this is exactly, this is exactly what's in the fucking bar? Is that so much? You're telling me Muscle Farm couldn't afford to do that? You're telling me Lenny and Larry's couldn't afford to do that? G Butter looks like they were made in someone's garage, so they might not be able to afford well, to yeah, do Yeah, but it. I think if you look at that and you're like, wow, that's amazing. If something's too good to be true, like looks too good to be true, chances are it is. Like if you know anything about peanut butter macros and you read the ingredient list on this, which the ingredient list is kind of questionable too, um, and I can elaborate on that. Yeah, please do, Katie. Why so, don't you jump into that real quick? So I'm going to sit back and drink this machine. So. Food. They come in different flavors, right? Let's say like uh, cookie dough, cookies and cream, birthday cake. But they're not really saying where the flavorings come from. It just states whey protein isolate. So maybe their whey protein isolate is flavor. But since we make whey protein isolate, we know that when you have you cookies have and cream, whey protein isolate, you've got cookie bits in it. And you've got all the ingredients that are in those cookie bits. And none of that states that. So, so there's no parenthetical ingredients. That's also a huge issue when it comes to allergens. I mean, there's a whole list of things you have to list on a label. Peanuts, tree nuts, egg, milk, soy and uh, shellfish. So you have to state if those ingredients are in it with an allergen warning or if they're produced in a facility that also works with those because you have a cross-contamination of a machine or a different ingredient swap, you could kill someone. <laughs> what I post on my Instagram the other day, we actually send our bars out to get tested for gluten even if their ingredients are gluten-free. Um, do you have a copy of their ingredient list I can I'm, read? Uh, yeah, I'm just going there right yeah, now. Yeah, but we actually get a separate test for gluten because if, if less than one less than one percent of population, someone actually has celiac disease, they're not just gluten free because Oprah said so. All right, so check it out. Okay. So let me read this, guys. So you see y'all. So here, here I'm going to show you what I'm reading. It's on Katie's phone, right? Cashew butter. All right, so this is the brownie batter, right? Cashew. Okay, so okay, two tablespoons. Was... Total fat seven grams. Total carb five, protein 10. Now, number one ingredient is cashews. Now, being that the second ingredient is whey protein isolate, if whey protein is, if protein's at 10 grams, the nuts will naturally, two tablespoons of nuts, will contain about eight to 10 grams of protein. All right? So they're already, there's, there's probably about two grams away. So we're assuming out of the 40 gram serving, around 30 to 32 grams is peanut butter. So it's actually a full two tablespoons of peanut butter because because actual two tablespoons is 32 grams, not 40. So they actually suck at math. Too. And they're not saying what's so, in the peanut butter or cashew butter. So, okay. So the cashews in and of itself will have 15 grams of fat. So right there, they have that. Um, protein, 10 grams. It's actually really believable. Carbohydrate at five grams is believable. So they have safflower oil, erythritol. Well, actually, the... the what I don't understand is they have the cashews, they have the whey protein isolate, safflower oil, erythritol, natural Dutch cocoa. This one actually makes a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Now, the birthday cake. Like, where's the flavor? The birthday cake, from? cashews, ultra filtered whey protein isolate, safflower oil, stevia leaf, sugar free sprinkles, beet juice, turmeric, and coconut oil. So, there's really no flavor system, is what so she's So, that's getting. what I'm saying. I'm thinking that their whey has 
extra ingredients. I don't think so. I think like, they're just using bulk whey. Right, but then how are they getting a cookie, sugar cookie flavor? With the same ingredients as the other one? I don't know. That one's no, ambiguous. No, uh, maybe the whey is... But no, it's not. Flavored. I, I guarantee... There's well, nothing listed. So you think maybe they're cocoa. buying... Cocoa. The only thing there it says is cocoa. So the chocolatey ones... But but that doesn't make sense. But they have chocolate chips in there. That's not a real picture of the bot. Oh, okay. That's uh, just a... <laughs> yeah, but, I'm, but it looks like in the bottle there's bits yeah, of chocolate. Yeah, and there's no... There's no... There's no... There's just cocoa. There's... In the peanut butter... There's it's nothing just, it's that weird. states where... Like, that, that one's a bit more questionable. Like, I wouldn't go to bat with that. But the ingredients themselves, but the lab tests are there. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, the lab tests show that some shady shit was going on. So there's G butter. Um, again, I did videos back in the day before it had bars, before it was even a thing on everything. And that's one reason we like, again, guys, there's no reason for companies not to do these for their CPG, their consumer packaged goods, their snack items, their bars. These are relatively inexpensive to do. And it's just, it's baffling how they don't do these checks, how they don't, you know, how they don't do that. And what I'm really concerned with is the fact that people still buy it. Now, this started back in 2001, Chef J's Trioplex Bars. Yep, I remember that. And those were the first ones. My old business partner, Mike McCandless, did the label test. He actually owned, I think it was labelclaimstesting.com Mike mm -hmm. owned. And, um, dude, so he outed them. Got sued, won the lawsuit. I believe he got sued for that or some other kind. He sued, he got sued a lot. But um, dude, so he literally put on his website at the time, which is bulknutrition.com, he put, do not buy these, they don't pass lab tests. But he kept them for sale because why not? He literally put on the site, don't buy them. People still bought them. That's absurd. And with the ingredients, I think it was the fat was way higher, the carbs were way higher, the protein was was a little bit lower. Right, but this marketing for this product is to specifically target people that are looking for a low calorie option, and it's not a low calorie option. So there, it's one thing if you screw up the numbers, but to market it as the exact opposite of what it really is is even more deceptive. The bottom line is, if you're not eating like Walden Farms peanut butter, tastes like it has no calories. It's fucking horrible right like i believe that one but if you're eating peanut butter you're getting a good amount of fat you're getting a good amount of a decent not a lot of carbs maybe eight nine grams and you're getting a, a decent amount of protein you know 10 to 12 grams but at the end of the day you're just not gonna find a low calorie peanut butter so what i would suggest is if you did buy this product keep an eye on this class action because chances are if it goes through and um the people that are trying to get the class action to go through win then you can get your money back a lot of times if you've purchased it, right? Yeah, didn't we do that with Justice for, for Girls? Or I no? did, because they falsely advertised the sale price, and I got like $700 in closed credit for Gammy back in the day. Yeah. But yeah, like, you know, keep an eye on this, because it looks, it says, uh, I think it's twelve ninety nine a jar, um, and I'm sure that, you know, when someone... Is how long does a class action take? Months and months, probably. Now, I'm not a fan of class action. I think class action has been taken over the top. Yeah. But sometimes they make sense. For example, um, the attorneys that did the, and I did videos on this, the protein, the amino spiking. Mm -hmm. That was ripping people off. And that was just as bad, if not worse, than this. So I am all for, and I'm actually still friends with those guys. You know, the guys who handled that case. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if you're a consumer of this product, email them. Ask them to show them, show you their lab tests. It's an easy thing to disprove. All you do is you show lab tests. Like if someone, if a class action attorney comes about, you're going to have to spend money, like at least 5, 10K, just showing the judge that you have these lab tests. But it should be easily disproven. And if we're wrong, we'll be the first ones to do a video. And again, these charges are allegations. Right. The class not, action hasn't been settled, right? No, it it's hasn't. It's just a list uh, But filed. based on the ingredients and based on the label, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, it's right. true. You know, so what are your guys' thoughts, man? You know what? Do we have, see, the thing is, it's hard, like, when I, before I had a bar, and I had no intention of ever being able to create this bar when I did the videos last year of Combat and, and, and Lenny and others. The reason I did that is because I was mad as a consumer, just like the amino spiking. Like, you know, amino spiking made me mad because as a consumer, that would piss me off. Right. And the bars, I actually eat bars. Because you're putting something in your body. <laughs> It's not like you buy, you know, 
a chair and it's the wrong color that they said it was going to be. It's something you're consuming. And you're trying to get results, right? Like that's, that's what's really crazy. And it, it hurts everybody. You know, it hurts the industry and it makes us have a bad name. They just had an article about bars being really, really bad in one of the trades in one of the magazines. And I remember someone tagged me on LinkedIn, like, well, why didn't they talk about the RX bar, the outright bar, you know? And I'm like, I don't care. You know, I'm a healthy snack option. I don't even consider myself a protein bar. You know, at the end of the day, I don't consider this my competitor. Again, like I can get, like, I don't even notice peanut butter sales. They're that low. This is not a concern of ours for business. Comp We're not taking out the competition. We're not, we sell jack shit. Up. Our, our peanut butter is amazing, but it's pricey, but it's really fucking good. But it's pricey. It is what it is. It is what it label. is. It's fucking delicious protein spiked peanut butter. That's it. So what yes, I'm, we spiked it with protein. We did put, put some it protein in it. <laughs> we and we we counted every gram. <laughs> but you know what? As a consumer, as consumers, like we take this shit seriously because Katie and I go through such lengths to make sure that the experience you get with this. Yeah. And this is why I handle all everything myself from sales i was at a gas station expo last week. oh i spent the entire day yesterday proving every single outright package wrapper and box for the next round of printing to make sure that every time every time we go through a reprint that it is exactly what these papers say from the lab it's not easy no it's it's <laughs> not easy at all and to follow these fda guidelines and laws everybody's like oh we need more re regulations oh no we don't if, you, if people just followed the regulations, right. the FDA enforced them, we'd be great. You guys gotta realize like every label we do, every label we do, you have certain font sizes you have to abide by. You have certain- um, Rules about the allergen statement. Allergens, you have different- Percent daily value, added sugars. It is a bitch. And there's plenty of regulations, but the problem is you got these rogue companies or even these large companies who just think they're above the law. And what it does, like we're talking about this expense, a thousand dollars, it's actually a lot of money because guess what? Our margin isn't a hundred percent. Like we have to pay employees. We have to pay for the packaging. We have to pay for the bar. And then we have me, <laughs> we have lovely. salaries, you know, we have our Lambos. Don't forget the Lambos. Um, a little hot wheel kind. <laughs> but, but that's the thing is that a thousand dollars like we literally like, I'm gonna be real. Like, let's get a little bit deeper into this, Katie, because I know you like being me going. Nah, it hurts sometimes. But no, check it out. But what? Just, just say. What's your point? I'm just talking. I don't know. I'm talking about sex now. What was I talking? Oh, um, what was I talking about? That's the problem with you. <laughs> no, well, where was I? We're talking about financial, financial. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so check it out. Now, without sacrificing quality, let's say packaging. If we can increase our quantity, increase, if we make an extra penny a bar, one cent, it is life-changing. It will change everything. We are literally fighting for the penny without sacrificing quality. And that's where these companies go wrong because one penny can be the difference between profitability and losing. That's what I'm getting at. So if they can save, let's say if this amortizes to two cents a bar over a million bars or whatever, right? That two cents over, a, think about it, two cents of a million bars. That's a lot of cents. How much is that? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Whoa. What about the dog game? <laughs> the other door must be open. <laughs> There's a dog that magically appeared and the door is closed. But then I forget likes, that yeah, right, our basement's like a circle. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting at is that what they're doing is they're just cutting costs. She's petting the dog, the dog not me. Is under the it looks like, looks right like I'm smiling for a reason. Anyway, guys, there, there's our opinion on it. This is our vegan outright bar. And here's a bunch of other bars in the background. This one will be out later. Um, this one will be out on Black Friday. We got a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark. I'm Katie. That's not a game. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look who I ran into in LA. Good I've been watching your videos a long time. Tell everybody about this protein bar. So it's the outright bar, man. It's all natural ingredients made with real food. None of that, you ever, you ever want to work out, you want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole, real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk.
That's good. So it's like a cookie. Roger, Roger, that's not good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right, so this, is, bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a one or two. Really? It's badass. Mm -hmm. Good protein bars, working people find these. Well, they can find it at any retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars. So they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.